who delivered that crunchy ass wig to her address. Don't sit up here and try to play me even though I got played. Hey Empresses, welcome back to my channel. And of course, this your lovely girl, the Glam Empress. And I am here with another video. And if y'all haven't already noticed by the title down below, this video is gonna be about how I got scammed by an Amazon hair company and if you guys want to hear the full story and if y'all want to see my receipts because yes i got receipts definitely stay to the end of this video smash that subscribe button hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified of when i'm coming in with another video and without further ado let's get into this story time y'all because all right, you guys, so as you guys know, I am a fashion, beauty, and lifestyle influencer. I'm obsessed with beauty, I'm obsessed with fashion, everything. But one of my favorite passions besides makeup is hair. Like, I love hair. I always have my hair done. I'm always wearing wigs. I'm always wearing ponytails. I'm always wearing everything when it comes to hair. And so, of course, I'm trying to get into a little bit of being a wig influencer you guys i did do some partnerships with a crochet hair company called toya Tress, and that's literally the number one viral video on my channel right now and i did that video two years ago toya Tress reached out to me and i had like a summer long partnership with them and they were sending me crochet hair and i would do my hair once a month but I don't wear crochet hair on the regular like I love crochet hair for the summer I love it of course but your girl is a wig girly okay like that's just my thing like I've always been into weaves I've always been into bundles I've always been into wigs y'all I mean even back to when I was in high school wearing the Milky Way I was wearing doobie hair I was wearing all types of all types of beauty store hair y'all like you name it I mean from high school where they was just gluing in tracks just to make your hair a little bit fuller or gluing in tracks just to do the updos I was always into hair like that's like my number one passion probably before I even got into makeup you guys but just fast forward and now of course there's so many girlies out there trying to be a wig influencer and I've watched a plethora of videos of girls giving you the game on how to reach out to these hair companies and so my favorite influencer she wrote the hair like a hair ebook on how to be a wig flu influencer and i read it you know front to back and i follow all the directions that she gave in her ebook but also with those hair companies that she provided i feel like you gotta be a little bit more tenured in the influencer world as far as having your subscribers up on youtube and tiktok and instagram in order for them to pay you any mind so i reached out to all them hair companies and it was pretty much either crickets or they was just like oh we'll sign up for the affiliate affiliate link and get commission and all that type of stuff and so i was just i ain't got time for that like i'm trying to really get these hair companies to send me some wigs because I already get my hair done like I can produce a really good hair video if anything these hair companies sleeping on me y'all these hair companies are sleeping on me but anyway um I was just like I ain't got time for that let me see what the Amazon girls talking about and so a lot of am a lot of girlies who are doing wigs they was just like you ain't gotta have no followers you can just reach out to them get a wig in exchange for a five-star review on Amazon now with me I kind of I don't really like that like I don't want to get a wig just to do a five-star review on Amazon because all in all that mean they they just lying in my in my eyes like because the, a lot of the wigs on Amazon like I bought them with my own money they be trash but at the end of the day your girl want a free wig like come on like we want a free wig I, I don't mind either installing it myself or getting my hairstylist to install it but your girl want a free wig 
and so with me i don't mind paying for it i've paid for wigs of course myself but i'm gonna give an honest review first and foremost but first i'm gonna start off with at least reaching out to these companies to see if i can get a free wig and just kind of go along with the process or whatever i'm gonna be honest no matter what like on my channel if the wig is trash i'm gonna say it's trash just like the the um red wig that i just took off it was it was okay a lot of these wigs just be temporary like you can't i wouldn't say you can install it and reinstall it and it's gonna give the same tea as the first install like if you reinstall it it might it might be good for the first few days and then after afterwards it starts going back into that trash state um so a lot of these wigs to be honest for me they are temporary um this wig that i got in my head this honestly this wig is I want to say this wig is from the doula hair and the doula hair is a really good wig like the hair feel good it's silky this is my um my third time installing this hair like it's still it's still swing it's still sway it's not crunchy it's not stale and that's what i'm looking for in wigs so that way i can put the girlies on but anywho it it was a lot of influencers who was saying you know reach out to this wig company reach out to that wig company and this is pretty much how you do it you just have to pitch them let them know your name what you're looking to do you're looking to get a wig in exchange for a five-star review on amazon and pretty much that's how you get your free wig now with me it's a difference between getting a free wig and doing a review on amazon versus being an actual wig influencer where they are sending you the wigs they are paying you and then you have to you have to do content whether it be a tiktok video or a youtube video like to me those are two different things if you want to just get a wig and do a five star review then girl that's your business but if you want to be a wig influencer and actually be on on a contract that's more so what i'm trying to do but you gotta start somewhere so a lot of the girls they would just list out different wig like amazon wig uh companies that you can reach out to and they said you know you can either email them or you can dm them on instagram and so of course I went through a whole list. I constructed a list for myself of Amazon companies that I wanted to reach out to. They even tell you how to do it. They said if it has sponsored on the Amazon review or on the Amazon page, then those are the companies that you want to reach out to because they're pretty much just starting up and they need people to review their wigs. So it was this one company that wrote back to me fairly quickly and to me, I already kind of knew that was a red flag, but again, I'm reaching out to these companies. It's not like they reaching out to me to, to scam them, but I still got scammed. But anyway, it was this company and I'm going to put all of my screenshots and all this other type of stuff up here so you guys can see it. And I'm definitely, I'm going to name drop because no, they, they tried it. Um, but it was this one company called Padres human human hair i believe of course everything would be up there but i sent my pitch dm to the hair companies that i was interested in they was the ones who wrote me back the quickest okay so it's padres human hair company they are found on amazon so i reached out i was like hi there my name is nabby DBA to Glam Empress. I live in the U.S. and I'm looking to collaborate with you in exchange for a wig for a good review. I ain't say a five-star review. I said for a good review on your Amazon storefront. I also can take photos and do videos on my YouTube channel as well as TikTok. I can't wait to hear and collaborate with you. And so I probably wrote that during the day. And of course, all of these hair companies are in China. So they wrote me around... 1 40 a.m and then they said they pretty much was just like dear please select wigs from our amazon store you don't need to order our seller will place the order for you you will get the wig within 72 hours actually let me see if i can go back to i think i actually deleted them to be honest with you but pretty much they were saying choose y'all i can't find their full response i do have everything here yeah i didn't take up the full photo of their response you guys but um they was pretty much saying that their 
a manager or whoever will place the order for me and then I just needed to fill out the required information which was my full name email address phone number and then the shipping address to where I want the wig to be sent to and then they said choose a wig from our store and give us a screenshot and let let them know what length that I want and so I went ahead and I sent them the information and I and I shouldn't have because when I listened to the girls who said that they are that they do work with Amazon wig companies they were saying that they placed the order directly through Amazon but again because I reached out to these companies they did not reach out to me I'm thinking that you know what I mean like they just operate a little bit differently so that was my bad on my part like i dropped the ball on that and then i was just like okay i'm just looking to see what i like and then i did send them the information and then i sent them a photo of the wig that i was interested in and i was just like okay i want the 99j body wave wig and 18 inch and they said okay 18 inches 84 dollars I will pay half oh that was what they said in their intro they said I will pay half and then I will be refunded the full amount of the wig plus commission once I do the promotion and do everything on TikTok and all that type of stuff so their response was you will be refunded the full amount of the wig $84 plus $150 commission for promoting our brand and your Instagram and TikTok account they said the um working the delivery time working days 72 hours i said okay that's fine i said um do i send the money via paypal and so that's when they said send it either paypal or i can send it through chime and i have chime so i went ahead and i sent it through chime or whatever and they said okay your order has been placed now waiting for oh i'm sorry y'all i'm tripping i'm tripping it says i sent them the order that i wanted they constructed the order for me after i sent them which item i wanted and then it says order has been placed now waiting for your half payment to be paid the half payment comes to 42 dollars that you have to pay and then i'll confirm your order I'll confirm your order the item will be delivered within 48 hours and then she and then they sent the chime information so when I looked at the chime it looked like some ghetto girl name in Atlanta like <laughs> it says Nashika Bramble for the chime information and of course like I'm looking at it I'm like this seemed like some little scammer and well I wasn't thinking that then I was really thinking about the wig which was my fault but I was after after the fact I was like that's probably some little random scammer girl in Atlanta but anyway um it says send to Nashika Bramble and then um that was where I was sending the chime to so I sent the $42 to that chime and then it says make the payment now and give me the transaction screenshot for complete the order and then have it process it says and then we can process about delivery immediately y'all these people don't be knowing how to talk and that's another red flag so i took the screenshot and i was like okay i did send the payment and they was i was like did y'all receive it they said yes we have received it ma'am wait wait will given confirmation i said perfect and then they sent a screenshot that the order was created and that i paid now this is where the red flag came in y'all because they gonna say some they said order has been paid already ma'am now you have to pay the shipping fee to be to be shipped the hair the shipping fee is forty dollars and when you receive the hair we will refund you the amount of the wig plus the shipping fee and after you have installed we will pay you the extra commission of a hundred and fifty dollars so when you receive the hair we will refund you eighty four dollars plus forty dollars now this is where my antennas went up because for one all the wig influencers that i've been listening to whether it be on tiktok or whether it be on youtube they all said no don't pay for shipping they was like if you have to pay for shipping then it's a scam so even though i reached out to these people when they said shipping 
I said, oh no, I said, oh no, you guys didn't mention a shipping fee at first. And that's another thing. Why wouldn't you mention a shipping fee from the beginning? Like, don't sit up here and try to play me even though I got played. Don't, don't sit up here and try to play me and talk and try to weasel a shipping fee in there. Like, granted, I was happy about my wig and stuff like that, but screw, I had to pump the brakes because absolutely not. Like, we're not paying no $42 on top of 40. You should have said you paying half the wig and then um, you have to pay a shipping fee because as soon as they would have told me I had to pay a shipping fee, a shipping fee, I would have been like, absolutely not. Y'all can keep that trash wig and I would have went on about my business. Or whatever and so i was like oh no you guys didn't mention a shipping fee and they was like oh sorry about that ma'am shipping fee is normal everyone knows about that i thought you know also so that's why that's why we never tell you that now how are you going to assume that i knew about a shipping fee and yes all the girlies do know about a shipping fee and guess what all the girlies then said if you had if they tell you you gotta pay for a fucking shipping fee then don't do it so yeah all the girlies do know about a shipping fee but they don't fucking pay it so that's why my antennas really went off because like i said even though i reached out to these companies every last every last influencer that i listened to said don't do the shipping fee it will be a scam so as soon as they said anything about shipping, I was like, no. And then the other thing that I should have listened to is I know the girlies said, now a lot of the girlies did say that it's not uncommon for you to pay for half of the wig and then they refund you back. But they said, don't go directly through them. Like pay for half of it on Amazon, I believe. I still don't really understand that part. They said pay for half of it on Amazon and then they'll refund you on PayPal or, or something like that. I'm still trying to figure out that part. But for the most part, as soon as they said pay a shipping fee, skrr, pump the brakes because we ain't doing it. So I was like, and by this time, y'all, I'm still trying to be nice. I was like, I don't feel comfortable sending an extra $40 shipping. I've worked with other companies and never had to pay for a shipping fee. They, they gonna say some everyone paying that for our first corporation, ma'am, but in future, you don't need to pay anything. In future, we will give free wig you have reviewed and get commissions, thanks. And then they try to send screenshots of other people paying the shipping fee. I don't give a damn about them screenshots. You can send a screenshot of Michelle Obama paying for the, the shipping fee. You can send a screenshot of Beyonce paying the shipping fee. Baby, if all them girls said don't pay no shipping fee, I'm not paying a damn shipping fee. I don't give a damn who you sending a screenshot of. So I stood my ground and I'm glad I did because this is when they started to get flipped. They gonna say some everybody know about the shipping fee and they are paying it. And I say I understand that but I never had to pay for a shipping fee. I always paid for half and then the other half was we refunded to me after I reviewed the video. And they gonna say some ma'am you need to understand the seller's rules because we have worked so so long not only for this. And then they proceeded to send more screenshots of people paying shipping fees and all this other type of foolishness. I don't care about any of that. And they're going to say some, look, we have already worked with many customers, so you must pay the shipping fee now to be shipped the hair. Thanks. These people will get your love boiling because who you think you're talking to? Like, for one, you're supposed to mean professional at all times, which is what I tried to do or whatever. But when you start talking to me, Flip, baby, that's when I'm going to start talking to you, Flip, because don't be telling me to look. No, you look because you want the money from me. Granted, I want a wig from you, but I already buy wigs, so it's, it don't, no, never mind to buy another one. So don't be sitting up here telling me to look. I said some. I understand the seller's rules, but I don't feel comfortable with that. I wish that was told to me before I sent my initial $40 because I work with many companies and they never ask for a shipping fee. And they said, understand, but understand but ma'am i have mentioned you everyone know about a shipping fee i thought you knew also and why would a company ever assume i knew anything i don't care i don't i don't care who you are why would you 
as a company assume that I know something. Oh, you assumed that I knew something because you was trying to slide that in there so that way I could just hurry up and send you another forty dollars, which wasn't happening, not on my watch and not with my not with my bank account. So that's why I never tell you that but promise in the future will let you know everything before the corporation no you should have let me know everything before the corporation before i even sent the first 42 dollars but again this is my bad because i'm reaching out to these idiots you know what i mean so i was like i understand it again i kept saying i understand but i never had to pay for shipping i always pay for half and the other half was refunded after the review of my video oh hold on wait i'm going backwards uh, okay, so yeah, they they assume and then I was like no I didn't know because I worked with many companies and once I pay the half the order is shipped I'm sorry. I don't feel comfortable You can look on my page and see that I wear many wigs and I do wig reviews on my YouTube channel Then they're gonna say something you again talking about the other company ma'am every seller not working the same way You need to understand that I, I felt a whole lot of neck rolling in their response they gonna say some every seller not working the same way. You need to understand that, ma'am. If you don't pay the shipping fee, then we can't do anything because we have a limited order. So we can find someone who can pay the shipping fee, and we will deliver the wig to her address. So please let me know if you can. We'll deliver that crunchy ass wig to her address because best to believe if you paid that shipping fee. You wasn't going to even send her a wig. So you can go ahead and send that crunchy ass wig to her address. I was like, yes, but you're the first one that asked for a shipping fee and it was not told to me up front. And then I was like, I do apologize, but I would like to have my $42 back. And then, of course, I already knew when I asked for my money back, they wasn't going to give it back. They're going to say something. We can't we can back it because the order has already been paid already. The website won't allow me to cancel or refund, which is a lie. Um... They was like, the sh shipping fee is understandable, but you don't understand that. It's fine. We will find someone who can, who, we can find someone who can pay only shipping fee and get we. Well, then you should have offered that the first damn time. Talking about some who can only pay a shipping fee. So now you switching up your words and all that type of stuff. Y'all, by this time I was over it, I already knew I had lost my $42. But I'm glad that's all I lost because I've watched so many different reviews and horror reviews of people getting scammed out of hundreds of dollars with the wig companies i'm glad all i did was lose 42 dollars i was like so if the order has been paid can you send it out i've already done my due diligence i sent the money immediately and the shipping fee was not told to me as a one time i was like as a one time i don't know what i was trying to say i was like as a hold on as a one-time something are you oh i was like as a one-time courtesy are you able to send out my wig and i will do a wig review and then they're gonna say something you still talking about a uh, seller again bitch <laughs> y'all i'm i'm glad i'm trying to keep my composure and it's like i'm trying to keep my composure because i already sent them my phone number i already sent them my ad you know what i mean like it's like you're trying to keep your composure because you already sent them personal information. But I still told them I was going to put them on blast. I didn't say when I was going to put them on blast, but I am going to put them on blast. And so um, I was like, you guys assumed that I knew about a shipping fee. I don't think I, I should be penalized for losing out on my money because you guys assume. They're going to say something. We asking you for the first time you can pay the shipping fee or not otherwise we can do with another person i said no i said i will not pay it i'm sorry but i do not feel comfortable you guys did not mention a shipping fee that should have been addressed up front they gonna say something sorry we understand it's our fault we should have said that before but now i don't know what they i don't know what they tried to say y'all because i i screenshot like right in the middle of the message but they was like i told you already we can't refund or cancel because it's been paid already then they gonna say something is it okay for you and i was like if the um i was like if the wig has been placed please honor that and send my wig that's not fair you guys are keeping my money and then asking for and asking me for more money they gonna say something i'm rude they was like you are very rude 
I think you don't need this collaboration, so we can't waste our time here anymore. We can go with some someone else. I was like, wait, so I'm being rude because I'm asking for my money back? And they're going to say, no, we can't. And I said, yes, but just like you said, every seller is different, so is every person. You cannot compare me to them. I would like to have my money back or I would like the wig to be sent to me, please. They're going to say something, that's enough. We won't work with you anymore. You got, I said, you guys are trying to squeeze extra money out of me. They're going to say some don't message me anymore. <laughs> I was like, if we are trying to do business together, there needs to be transparency on both ends. They're going to say some, yes, we know, but everything under, under stable. These people don't know how to talk. Yes, we know, but everything under stable, you don't understand. If you guys, y'all, then they're going to say some, okay, we'll lower the shipping fee to $20. And I said, if you guys can compromise for $20, then why are you not able to waive the entire shipping fee since you guys were the ones who wasn't up front with me? They said, we can't do anything right now. I've never worked with a company who has treated me this way. They said, if you paying shipping $40, then message us. Otherwise, then don't. Yo. I was like, I want my money back. I will do a chargeback and contact my bank and provide them with these messages. They said, okay, then do so. No problem. We we will find someone else. Yeah, they're going to say some stop texting us, please. I said, I'm glad I did not do business with a company who is down bad and like to scam women out of their money. I will also do a TikTok and a video to warn other girls about your wrongdoing. Have a great day. And that's when um they was like doing it right now or whatever. And I just never respond after that. But y'all that just that was a learning lesson for me because even though I'm still open to working with weird companies for one they gonna have to reach out to me it's gonna have to be an email and it ain't gonna be no Instagram DMs and all that other type of stuff like everything is gonna be professional over here that's how I'm used to working with companies anyway like I know there's a lot of girls out there who said they reach out to these weird companies through like TikTok messaging and DMs on Instagram but I'm not about to do all that like I'm sorry you're gonna have to send a professional email and show that you're a professional company work wanting to work with another professional and then we can move forward that way it ain't gonna be no Instagram DMs and sending money through Chime like I'm not working with a company unless they are willing to send the item to me completely free of charge with free shipping and everything like the company's been doing so I don't know like a lot of the girls who've been getting free wigs and stuff like that they just been getting lucky but I ain't really been getting lucky over here the only thing um the only thing that I'm gonna continue to do is I'm gonna continue to do my wig installs, go and get my hair done, and attract the right companies because I feel like every time I go looking for something, I end up with something like this. So I just wanted to put this video out there to make everybody aware and also to spread awareness because a lot of girlies, they will talk about how they got scammed, but they not going to drop the company name. No, what's the point of talking about it if I, if I'm not going to say the company name, why would I want y'all to go reach out to them and then next thing you know, y'all get scammed? <laughs> like, no, but that just made me so mad, y'all. It just, it made me mad, but like I said, I'm glad it was $42. It was $42 that they probably needed for groceries or to keep the lights on or whatever. I'm not down bad over here, so... Like I said, I'm just glad that it was $42 and nothing more than that. It will never be nothing more than that. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. It will never never be nothing more to that. And if some wig companies watch this video and be like, oh, we don't want to work with her, then it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, my integrity when it comes to my channel and my loyalty when it comes to my channel and my word when it comes to my channel just even me as a person like forget my youtube channel just my loyalty my my respect my my integrity like my word is my bond and that's all i got at the end of the day being a grown woman and i wouldn't even want to work with a company who out there scamming people because it's going to make me and, and my platform look bad so if I don't attract no wig companies that 
feel like oh she telling it all and all this other type of stuff then it is what it is at the end of the day i want to work with companies who allow who aligns with my values which is being respectful being loyal being a person of your word making sure that the quality is good like i don't i don't want to work with companies who's just sending out wigs and want me to lie and give a five star review when your hair isn't even five star. So we, so it's probably best that I didn't get any wigs by reaching out to that company. Cause at the end of the day, like with me, I don't just put on a wig and then put on another wig. Like a lot of these influencers, I be really trying to understand. Some hair I can see that that's good hair, but a lot of them, I'm just trying to figure out how do they know is really good hair when they are putting on a new wig every day. With me, I'm gonna go to the gym in that wig. I walk my dog in the wig. I'm gonna do different activities in the wig. I'm gonna sleep in the wig. I'm gonna wash the wig. I'm gonna do so many different things with that wig to know that it's good hair. I'm gonna get it reinstalled. I'm gonna ask my hairstylist. She's gonna be honest. She's gonna tell me. So, I'm really reviewing these wigs to know if they're good wigs or not. Like this hair in my hair, I ain't even, I haven't washed it in like two weeks and I, I want it on my hair, on my head and this is good hair, it's just, it just needs to be washed. But other than that, that, that real wig that I had, had on, like I would say a lot of these Amazon wigs is just good for maybe that day, maybe that week. But other than that, they're just temporary wigs but a good wig to me is a wig that you can you can color it without it getting stale you can wash it you can reinstall it you can put it half up half down you can straighten it you can crimp it and it's still flowy it's still it still has that beautiful luster to it it still can curl up when it's supposed to curl up like to me that's what i'm looking for in a wig so maybe it's best that you know i just wait until i attract the wig companies that i really want to attract or whatever the case may be but other than that i'm not about to sit up here and lie on my channel just for a free wig i've been paying for wigs it ain't gonna make me no never mind to pay to keep paying for it you know what i mean but other than that you guys i just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about how i got scammed from a amazon wig company and if you guys have any questions or comments definitely leave them below for me and of course don't forget to smash that subscribe button hit that notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video